Hi everyone, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to my channel, TechNex Solutions. As you know that Microsoft has released 1902 base version of SACM 2019 and this is current branch 1902 and release date was 17th of 4th of 2019 and you can uh, upgrade to 1902 from 1710, 1802, 1806 or 1810. All right, so to find that out, if that update is available in console or not, so what we have to do is open your SCCM console and then click on administration and uh, on the left hand side and in administration, you will see updates and servicing. If you click on that, you should see configuration manager 1902. If this is not available for you, just click on check for updates and you should see it sometime soon available in your console. And uh, now let's just talk about this update. If you would like to find out more information, so what is available, what's new in this update. So under here, you can see more information. Okay, so just copy that link and then uh, put it in your browser and then you can find out more information about 1902 current branch. Apart from that, if you would like to know more about support for configuration manager current branch and then uh, I have left a link for you it is available in the description and you can check that out and in that link you can find that uh, servicing support for configuration manager okay so for 1902 you can see that it started from March and it is available uh, till uh, um, July after July 2020 you can say June July maybe September 2020 and uh, critical updates are available only for four months okay uh, apart from that you can see that uh, in july we will have 1906 available and also if you would like to check out uh, prerequisites for configuration manager and uh, link is in the description as well and then you can follow that link and you can also check out support for sql server versions as well in that okay so in my case i'm running it on 2016 server and uh, my sql server is a 2016 enterprise edition all right now let's go back to our configuration manager console and you can see that in my case configuration manager 1902 update is available and um, to start with, uh, the first thing you would do is you will download the update, okay? And uh, you would uh, download the update. So once the update is downloaded, and then you can run the prerequisite check. And uh, there are a few logs you can check out for the downloading. And uh, to check out where it is actually downloaded, and if you open File Explorer, and then you go to the root directory, uh, we'll go to local disk C, and uh, program files, that's a root directory of configuration manager and uh, click on Microsoft Configuration Manager. Inside here, there's a folder called Easy Setup Payload. If you open that, and you can see that on 30th of April, I have actually downloaded this update. And if I double click on that, then you can see that uh, more files are there. Apart from that, you can check out a log as well. If you go back to um, root directory of SCCM, then click on uh, logs. Logs are here. So open logs and we will be looking at a specific log here. So it is DMP downloader log. Just double click on that and uh, make sure you open it in CM, CM trace. Uh, it will look nice and organized here. And this log you can check out. All right, let's just close that. All right, so download can take some time as well because it's, uh, it's a big file. It, I think it's about a gig. Uh, I haven't actually checked it. I can check it out. Okay, so it is about 2.32 gigabyte. So that much uh, data it is going to download. So it depends on your network, how fast your network is, and of course your hardware performance as well. And uh, so once it downloads it, and you can right click and you can run prerequisite check. So you can click on prerequisite check. So once you click on prerequisite check, in my case, I have already done that. And uh, once you click on it, and then you can click on show status, and you can see that show status on the right hand um, bottom corner. And if I click on show status, and it will open a window in monitoring, and then uh, you will see this here, and you can right click again, and then click on show status, and it will open a new window. Here you can see the progress of the prerequisite check. Okay, so. In my case, you can see that uh, I have already done that and I have two warnings. So SQL Server native client version. So this can be updated and you can ignore that warning. Okay, the second one, 
Um, Microsoft actually released a hotfix for that and we will discuss about that now. So you can see the potential SQL Server's performance issue. Um, so actually they have given a hotfix and it, this hotfix is actually available if we go back to administration and update and services. You can see that there's a hotfix listed here KB448598. Okay, so if this is installed in your system, you would not see this warning. Okay, so if you would, and you actually you do not have to install this hotfix. There's a reason why. I will show you the, the reason. So if I copy that and um, you can paste it in your browser. I think I already did. Yes. So I have pasted it here. You can see that uh, this is KB4488598. So this actually, it has a notice here. So this notice says that if you're going to install 1902, and all the hotfixes are available in 1902 and they will be installed. Okay, so we can completely ignore this, that hotfix and straight away we can go with Configuration Manager 1902. So now we will actually install our upgrade. So to do that, it's pretty simple. I will right click on that and click on Install Update Pack. And you will see this screen here. And this screen actually gives you the option for the prerequisite warnings. So it says ignore any prerequisite check warnings and install this update regardless of missing requirements. Okay, so I have checked it because I've got two warnings. Uh, but as I, as I explained, it is fine to go ahead with those warnings. Okay, so we will click on next. And features, is, is there anything if you want to actually add, you can add now or later on we can add that. So there's no big deal with that. So click next and upgrade without validating. So for validate in pre-production collection, you have to actually uh, work on that and then you have to set up this scenario. And I haven't set up this scenario and I am going with upgrade without validating. So I will click next and licensing terms. I will accept those terms. Uh, software assurance expiration date, you can enter that. In my case, it is just uh, evaluation and I am going ahead with that. So click next, summary, next, and you will see progress and it will actually start working on it. And in the meantime, we can go on to the logs and we will have a look at the logs where we will be having uh, more information apart from that. So when actually it starts, uh, you can click on show status and then again it will go in monitoring window and right click right click and you can click on show status again and you will see that download is done replication is completed um, so along the way you will get all this information okay so this is not real time so you might have to click on refresh if you have kept this window open it will not update itself so you can click refresh and then it will update itself all right so now let's have a look at the logs. So we will open File Explorer, this PC, Windows C, Program Files and uh, Microsoft Configuration Manager. So this is the root directory of Microsoft Configuration Manager where it is installed. And then further, we will go to Logs. And in Logs, we will see a log called CM Update. Okay, so if you double click on that, you will see that this log will actually update itself in real time. So if there's any change or it will add to it. All right, so you can see that it is updating itself. And this whole process, it can take anywhere between half an hour to one hour or maybe more. It depends on your infrastructure. Again, it depends on the resources. It depends on the hardware. All right, so upgrade is happening right now and it can take anywhere between half an hour or it can take an hour as well. And in some cases, I have uh, seen that it took more than that. So it all depends on the resources you have provided. Um, so I will be back once this is done. And also once the update will finish, we will see a prompt to update our console as well. So I will see you once this is ready. Okay, so it took about 40-45 minutes. Installation is completed. Now post installation is in progress. So I'm going to give it more time and um, I will be back once this is done or if there's any update available for the console. I'll see you shortly. 
Alright, so in post installation, everything is completed except turning on features. So what we can do now is we can actually close it. Um, and then I will close uh, System Center Configuration Manager console as well. And when we will reopen it, we should get an update. Let's have a look. Let's just uh, close it for now. And let's just reopen console. And it should prompt us to update the Configuration Manager console. Here you go. You can see that there's an update avail available. So I will click on OK. And yes, and it should update our console. Here you go. So new console is available. And uh, to double check that the console and uh, we can click on administration. And then uh, let's go to updates and servicing. In updates and servicing, you can see that we have configuration manager and uh, 1902 installed and if you want to check the full version here and the client version is here apart from that we can still check the status click on show status and right click again and then cl click on show status again and you can see that in post installation turning on features is still going and it should finish anytime soon all right uh, let's just click on ok and we'll go back and also, if you want to check the log for that uh, Configuration Manager console update, you can check it in uh, Local Disk C. And there should be Configuration Manager Admin UI Setup Log and Configuration Manager uh, Admin UI Setup Verbos. Okay, so you can check these two logs. These two logs are related to Configuration Manager console. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching this video and if you feel like it was uh, helpful for you and show your support, uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you.